today we're playing, uh, probably one of the most, uh, beloved RPGs ever. JRPGs, rather. Uh, it's Final Fantasy VI, or Final Fantasy III, if you're American. <laughs> uh, first thing you're gonna notice is probably that, you know, all this all the stuff's kind of been renamed and whatnot. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. I think I got like a fan translated version or something like that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing all the way through the game. All the way. This is part one of it. So I do cut out a lot of the battle scenes, but I play but I play through a few of them. It's like uh this Serapis, I don't know. They got a lot of weird names for these monsters, because they ain't the same names that were in the original game, so... I mean, Kefka in this game spelled with... spelled C-E-F-C-A, not K. Main goddess is spelled wrong. <laughs> I could flip for fans translating. Now there's one thing I did get right, uh, the main character, Tara, as she was called in the US version, was actually translated to Tina, but I didn't like Tina as much as Tara, so... Yeah, what I normally try to do is steal as much crap as I can. <laughs> I'm a klepto. Not really, though. just make extensive use of that uh, auto bow gun. Because it, it just freaking chews through these enemies in the earlier levels of the game. It's so damn useful. <laughs> and uh, chasing the black shadow thing. It turns out to be a uh, Vargas, or whatever the hell his name is. I think from here on I cut out the fight scenes. Except for the boss ones. I don't cut out the boss ones. I just don't want the, the videos to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Always make sure to save. You never know, you just spontaneously explode. And this is bosses right down here. It's always a good idea to save before a boss. <laughs> Even though this guy's stupidly easy. Also, you probably want to up here, when you get close to the boss, you want to check your uh check how close you are to leveling up, because every uh, level counts. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh yeah. You'll probably be able to notice when I cut stuff out, because you can hear the music. <laughs> uh, not at the end of the music. Bam. I'm poisoned all of a sudden. Yeah. That was a good cut. <laughs> and... You know what I have to worry about? Preserving your magic points for this uh, guy up here. Sabin sent you to kill me, right? Who are you? Did you yeah, blah blah? Hmm. You didn't get to read all that. Pretty much. The guy doesn't like us because he thinks we were sent to kill him by saving who uh 
actually had his name changed too, but I forget what his name was changed to. <laughs> Cause uh, Vargas here murdered his own father. Because uh, he wouldn't, he thought Saban was going to be his uh, predecessor, not him, but it turns out he murdered his father for nothing. You kind of have to kill those two bears instead first and focus on him. So. Dull potion. Yay. It's always, it's always good to steal from the boss, too, because sometimes they have uh, unique items. I don't know why I tried to steal from him again, considering he doesn't have anything now. <laughs> Talk about boat gun his ass to death until he does this. Saban never gets these cool things that he does. Mortal attack, blizzard fist, what the hell is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Enough of your lies, now have a taste of my superior technique. Deadly attack and change that. There's a mortal attack on the original translation. And there's cussing in this game too. It's weird. Death fist. Has to be over real quick. You just like blitz, go back, go forward, back, forward, A, hey, boom, you're dead. he still die? No. Oh. Sandman, you're gonna die. No. <laughs> yeah, this game was uh, amazing. Still is amazing. Still one of the best. RPGs I have most fun playing. I, I like it even more, to be honest, I like it more than Chrono Trigger. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing more than... <laughs> the Empire is going to pay. You must. Except spoiler alert, Duncan's not dead. Yes, let's get going. I always try to get every freaking chest to... There's some chests I have no idea how to get to. Like, there'll, there'll be one two later in this video I forgot how to get to. <laughs> Bell, Mozoa, and Mew. I think the Mews were spelled with two U's in the other version. Steal. Couldn't steal from a field mouse or whatever the hell that is. That thing looks like a mutated rhino, and I hate that spell. He sometimes casts Megavolt when he dies. It does a lot of damage for an early level attack, too. It does a uh, hundred and something. I idea what I'm doing again. Pitch a tent. <laughs> I 
Save. Now time for some exposition. <laughs> Sorry about that uh, yellow dot up there. For some reason I didn't cut this battle scene out, so you have to suffer to it. You actually watched all the way up this point, and uh, I applaud you. If you're wondering what that yellow is, I'm actually recording this in a uh, uh, Procaster. With Procaster, because uh, every time I tried to record with anything else, like Fraps, it just made the frame rate drop like a fucking rock. <laughs> Which is amusing because it's an SNES game. And, yeah, we're not going to be able to play it with Fraps running. Like weird. Even though I'm recording this in uh, HD with a Procaster, I don't know. It's really weird. Up oh, there, go, there goes my mouse. It'll be back up here in a minute. Up oh, there it is. Why would carrier, carrier pigeons tell me she annihilated? <sighs> yes, yeah, Pandora's box. Even though it says one man opened it, it was a girl. At least I think it was a girl. And this story of uh, God, the war is told long before it actually happened. You know, Bannon spelled different too. I'm so tired, let me rest a while. What the fuck? Just in the middle of conversation. I'm so tired, I think we'll take a nap. Yeah, I got to wander around the Returner's hideout for a minute. Yeah, you're gonna need those high potions later. I'd rather use high potions. I'd use, yeah, use potions to heal myself than uh, cure spells. At least early on, cure spells you need the magic more for attacking crap than uh, healing yourself. I hope you're not trying to read all this stuff because uh, it's actually being recorded at a higher frame rate than the game's running, so everything looks to be going really fast. You have to go. You had to go around and talk to all the other four of the party members and. Uh, get their uh, opinions on everything. Then you go outside and talk to Bannon and say, yep, I'll join the Returners. Why not? I always like a good resistance group as much as the next person does. I wonder what happens if you say no. I've never actually said no before. I guess you just get to wander around for a bit more and go tell them eventually, yeah, I'll do it. It gives, gives him, uh, gives her the accessory gauntlet, which, uh, lets you hold a single, uh, sing a sword with, uh, two hands. It gives it more, more attack power, but lowers, lowers your defense. Yeah, 
this is a pitiful army. <laughs> four guys. Four guys. Study Phantom Beast. Yeah, you can definitely ch tell they changed that. It was called Espers. Okay, they translated the Phantom Beast. Maybe Espers is what Phantom Beast translates to. I don't know. I don't think I study any other language other than English, and I'm not even good at that. Yeah, yeah, it's an interesting story though. Uh, basically, there was like a war that uh, set mankind back like a thousand years in technology and everything. Basically, their world used to be like ours until there was a war that broke out. And now everything's set back to like kind of a steampunk like era. Which again, I think is why this game is kind of popular. It's steampunk ish. When steampunk was the cool thing, it's not, it's not so much uh, cool anymore, but. People still like it. And the guy flops over. South Figaro. I Empire took Fargo. Coming this way. Uh-uh. They locate us. We don't have a moment to lose. Lock! I knew someone has to sneak into South Figaro. This is right up your alley. Good luck. Yacht. Don't let the lecherous young king who should remain nameless. Perv. <laughs> we'll have to run with our tails tucked between our legs. Ah, <sighs> here's fun part. Now they're in this whole raft ride, you cannot access your uh, inventory screen or anything like that, so... But fortunately you won't need to. At all. But you got Bannon with you. The lit River. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stay here and get caught. Herf derf. Cause I'm just bring him back with a fucking phoenix down already. You don't want to put all, all your guys in the back row. I don't have them right here because I can't change it yet. But have every single one of your guys in the back row because it makes because uh, Edgar's bow gun does the same damage from the back row. Saban's blitz does the same damage from the back row. Hera's pretty much just going to be sitting there with her thumb up her ass the entire time. But when it comes to the boss fight, she's just going to be casting fire over and over again, which does the same damage from the back row. And you're going to go left here. The other way is take you around in a big ass circle and waste time. And uh, Bandit's just going to be casting Testing health over and over again, which just heals your entire party. Which is immensely helpful. You're just gonna wanna keep doing pretty much the same pattern all the way through. Now there is a spot where you can level up some a little bit later in the raft ride. The raft ride isn't very long, it's probably only about I don't know, a few minutes, depending on how many battles you fight. When they changed the name of these things, it was Wyverns in uh, the original way. Mm. 
makes me wonder with the really weird games that were in the original game have been changed to. I probably made them something like stupidly easy. And then gained the level terror gain the level terror learn drain. Got six hundred and fifty gil. Here's one of the only two spots where you can uh save at and you can change your change your uh, rows and Yeah, it's a good idea to always do that. I was thinking about putting Terra in front since he can, since he was only attacking with the sword, but eh, why bother? Now up here, there's a you can actually level yourself all the way up to level 99. It takes like probably a day or more. You just keep pressing. You just hold the up on the keypad. Actually, you just tape down the A button. You set your uh, cursors to memory. It, if you have the A button taped down, it'll automatically keep going up and it'll automatically keep fighting your battles for you. If you have health on, <laughs> you basically will never die, so. You use that to your advantage be level 99 before you even get to the boss up here. Not that I ever did it. <laughs> now, the next fight is the boss. As soon as you go out this, uh... I save again. I'm always a save whore. I save as much as possible. There's some games so that you know the less you save the, big, the bigger rewards you get at the end of the game or something like that. Like uh, I know earlier Resident Evil's do it. You save less you get a bigger reward. Same with uh, Metal Gear. There's Ultros. Kept his name the same. Don't you dog first. <laughs> Just keep hitting health on him. Keep casting fire on her. Keep doing blitz on him. Keep doing auto bow gun. Same as pretty much all the way. Now when you cast fire, he's gonna counter with ink. When you do blitz, he's gonna he sometimes counters with a tentacle thing. That does pretty big damage, even in the back row. <laughs> yeah, he says the same thing over and over again every time you cast fire on them. Surge beat. <laughs> some head, for some reason, he triggered that on. When he says muscle heads, I hate him. Uh, he always attacks Saban. Yup, seafood soup. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> He'll go down pretty fast, so. When he starts getting low on health, he'll start doing that multi tentacle attack thing. Expect a. Uh, High school girl to jump out any minute. But yeah, this fight's stupidly easy with Bannon in your party. It might be a little bit more difficult if you didn't have him, but. <laughs> Guess we thrashed it. Don't bet on it. He's probably just hiding. Ew, something stuck to my leg.
Ultras gave her herpes. No. Save and don't distract me, brother. It's always been Tad Zealous. Don't worry about him, mate. Okay. You should know better than any of us. Aim on flop right on the rest. Seems a little too perky. <laughs> Now this is where your uh, party gets split up, <clears throat> and you can choose from all, you have to eventually do all three scenarios, but I think uh, locks is the hardest one, because <laughs> you got so few people, Sabin's is the longest, and uh, uh, Tara's is the shortest and easiest. This one has a little bit of a puzzle to it. It doesn't have as much fighting as the other two. Sabin's is, yeah, Sabin's is definitely the longest. And also the best, I think. I usually do locks first, then do, uh... You have to steal his clothes. But basically, you have to steal his clothes because you got to disguise yourself to get past uh, this kid who guards this set of stairs. Alright. Once you get past this kid, you have to go steal another set of clothes to get past a guard. Then you have to go steal another set of clothes. Then you're pretty much done. I'm blown the old man. Get your own damn line. What do I fucking look like? I may proceed. If I had little kids, they're gonna fucking stop me if I wanted to go through there. You may want to go to your inventory, because I completely forget about it, but, uh, you go to your inventory and, uh, equip your stuff again, because, uh, here I forget where to go for a few minutes. Yeah, go up the steps, there's a green guy over here you gotta steal clothes from. Yeah, go to your inventory and re-equip all your armor and stuff because it took it took all of it off. <laughs> Sucks for an officer. down the naked guy and stab him in the face. Now you go all the way down here to this guy who's blocking uh, your access to the inn. And he'll say, oh it's break time already. Not close enough. Yeah, you go to the inn and you steal your uh, clothes from the merch and you take the old man's wine. Okay. And after you take the old man's wine, he'll tell you where... Well, he, he doesn't really tell you what the password is. Unfortunately, you have to guess. Which is only, I think, three choices. Three or four choices, so it's not that big a deal, but 
be different if you had to like choose so many choices in a row, but thankfully you do not have to. Our little type of price is right, and it's free. He stole the old man's wine. He crammed that wine down his throat. <laughs> Hate this crowded ass bar. Three people there. <laughs> it takes it forever to get past them. You can actually steal clothes again from him, but you don't really need them. You need to keep your uh, merchant clothes on because uh, you have to get past this freaking kid again to give the man his, his wine. Do I look like a fucking merchant? And here you go. For some reason you have to give the man his wine to be able to trigger the password thing. Uh, I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, it's courage. Or if they let you go through the... Oh yeah, always remember to check the uh, clocks. I'm not sure which Final Fantasy it was started in, but... Uh, I think it was Final Fantasy IV. That uh, all clocks usually have an elixir in them. An elixir is they have the most powerful uh, potion you can get. So, always check the freaking clocks. There's also a mega elixir in this game, which heals all your guys completely to full. You want to go in this first room behind the staircase, there's a passage that takes you downstairs. That's why you can actually hear that breeze in there. I keep the clothes on because it gives you an extra line of dialogue if you keep them on. This is where you meet Celis. The general's heart is pure as snow. With a mind as pure as snow this time. <laughs> Your mind be as pure as snow. Well, I guess heart doesn't really have anything to do with a. Uh... Oh, see, there it goes. How can you serve these cowards, you assholes? Isn't it true Kefka is going to poison the people of Doma to the east? Now, that doesn't happen to uh, Sabin's. Uh, damn scenario. I like know how the hell lock got up there. I wonder what the wait a few minutes option does. I don't think it does anything. Oops, sorry, I forgot I was wearing these clothes. That's the whole extra line. Do you want to help me? Thanks, but no thanks. I can get out here on my own. Ah, these stupid chains. No way, they'll kill you. You, I'm not sure if I can trust you. I wouldn't trust him either. Don't worry about it. Let's go. 
wait. The soldier has something important on him if you're so determined to help me. Now how in the hell would she have known that he had something important on him that she, they needed to get out? Something as obscure as a fucking clock key. Now I don't question video game logic. Save it. This is the reason why this one's so freaking hard is because uh the, f the battles down uh, below once you get past this part it's a big pain in the ass because you only have two fighters and and neither one of them are particularly uh, devastating in their attacks. up here and wind the key, I'll open the door. You take the door down to the... I don't know why, but I don't hit optimum, which I should have. For some whatever freaking stupid ass reason when I was playing this I, I didn't think I had any weapons for it. But yeah you're just gonna want to keep spamming blizzard which was a uh, change to it's actually ice but whatever Basically, keep stealing with lock, keep spamming Blizzard with uh, Celis. Use her to heal. Or use potions. Actually, potions work better because of a. Uh, Play this through, use potions, don't use healer. You're gonna to wanna to save your magic for a uh, cast a dog. Damn uh enemies in the fight. Now with these guys, if, if you if you kill one of them early, the other one's gonna run off. If you wanna get the most DXP and most gold that you can get, uh you wanna Try to kill him, finish him off both at the same time. Let's see, there he goes. And they'll do that every time. Should put lock in the front row, but oh well. I'm gonna put the earring on Celis. Yep, there I go. I'll make her uh, magic attacks do more damage. I'm trying to remember where the hell that pathway leads to, but I think it's just a dead end. Somehow you get over those other set of stairs and they'll take you up to a. Uh, this right there is that's a dead end. I was trying to remember how to get to that. There's a chest over there. <laughs> and for the life of me, I could not remember how. And the way I got this freaking set up. That's the extent of finding secret passages on Final, older Final Fantasy games is to keep bumping against the wall until you, until you move somewhere. But I just say fuck it and let's go. <laughs> And 
use in that last tent. You got another boss fight coming up. Another really easy one. Well, it, c it can be hard if uh, you don't time stuff right, but it's pretty easy if you do. But it's not exactly hard to time stuff right on this one. There is a very good uh, level up spot coming up where you can grind out a few levels. These guys are kind of annoying, those uh, blue guys. They can actually paralyze you, ca basically casting stop on you. And if they cast stop on both of your guys, you're kind of screwed because you can't do anything for a good minute. See there, Celis just got paralyzed. It's the blue guys who do it, so there's two of them. That means they can both paralyze both their characters, which would be bad. Had it happen before. They also they also can poison you. But other than that, they're just kind of minor annoyances. They don't have a hell of a lot of HP. Cell Cellus wasn't freaking stop, I would've done killed them all by now and just cast freaking uh, Blizzard on everything. Yeah, that guy has the most HP. Yeah, I'm gonna fix that yellow dot the next next time I do the next part of this uh, playthrough. <laughs> so, it doesn't look like there's a torch. It does look like a, uh, the flickering torch effect from this game. This battle and this, and die. 142 EXP. I don't know why every single monster in the game has a. Now right here is the good level up spot, cause that pool of healing right there uh, heals your. Uh, HP and MP, and you can just keep walking back and forth and fighting guys and healing yourself between fights. Uh, now here's the boss fight. Basically, with Celis, you're gonna want to keep doing uh, Brunic over and over again, and basically doing all your damage with Lock. It takes a bit, but it'll keep you from. Uh, getting murdered on the spells since it cast up uh, poison and uh, elemental spells and they do a hell of a lot of damage. Basically this is just a tutorial for uh, her uh, skill which comes in handy especially on uh, Magic Tower later on in the game, which you can't use attack, but you can still use Runic. And yeah, you definitely want to steal from this guy because he has a, a nice weapon early on, the Air Knife, which is which is a good weapon for lock. And basically, it goes on like this until he's all uh, dead. Basically, her runic sort of give her MP for uh, the amount that the spell that was cast against her costs. So you're also gonna watch her health, and heal yourself as Lock. Don't heal yourself as Celis, because if you heal with her, you're gonna miss a runic, and he can screw you up. This 
make use of your high potions. This guy's stupidly easy. There's a nice critical hit. Die! I think he's dead there. Nope, he's dead the next one. Uh, yeah, just watch for part two when I get around to doing it. That's a very annoying attack, a drill attack. Well, that's it for uh, this Let's Play, part one of Final Fantasy VI, which I'm going to be playing through the entire game. Thanks for watching. Looks like we're safe now.